I had a nose down here this morning looking for my leaves, normal place. <coughs> and this lot is cleared near the roadway. Obviously looks better for the public and all that crap. And then I've clicked on where do they put the leaves when they clear them. So I had a closer inspection. Usually I'm just coming here with my broom, uh, bin liner, collect all the leaves up, take them back to the car where I've got a, a ton sack in there. And then I shred the leaves when I get them. But this is where the, the council ditch their leaves when they've picked them up. Luckily for me, when they pick them up, boy, a leaf picker up or a, with a shredder, when they drop off, I'm all shredded and it's beautiful stuff. Less work for me. <coughs> Look at this, beautiful. And that's what I'm picking up today. Been line of full, now I'm going to bung that in the back of the car in the one ton sack. There's another good pile here. Look at this, beautiful stuff. Some of this has been shredded already as well, so that's ideal for me. I'm going to job the lot. Boots chocker now, put about uh, six bags in. This one on the floor, I'm going to put in the passenger side. Get them back on. Right, I'm back on the plot now, just showing me my methods of making the leaf mould. Right, I've unloaded the car. I should be taking the bags of leaves down to my bins. <coughs> I've got six bins black wall plastic bins. I use four for garden compost and two for leaf mould. And my leaf mould lasts me 12 months of the year. There's one of my ingredients for my compost bins. These bins are excellent for making compost and leaf mould. The only trouble with the bins I've found over the years is uh, worms was getting in and nicking all. Mould was getting in and nicking all my worms. So what I'm about to do is put chicken wire on the bottom, stop them going in. Now I can get away with it. That's the one I'm using at the moment for my compost. Carpet round them, <coughs> where the frost a couple of nights ago. This keeps the frost out, I want my compost to work. All the worms do me, do me work, 12 months of the year. Leaf mould, that's these two, because I'm empty, they ain't covered up yet. Once them are full, then they'll get covered with carpet as well. Right. Let's get going. Right, the leaves go in then. It's usually about three or four inches. If I'm shredded, that's an ideal. And then you got to wet them. Every leaf has got to get watered. If they stay dry, then they'll stay like crisps forever. You've got to wet every one. Then another layer goes in. This is what I use for watering my leaves. This is uh, my activator, which is liquid osmuk. Where I get my osmuk from, there's a great river at the bottom of it, of liquid osmuk. And that's what I use for um, watering my leaves. And my compost. Also, I've got a tub of this in the greenhouse. And uh, a dollop of that, a cup full of that goes in the bucket everywhere to you. Right, I've been working our way up with the leaves. <coughs> After each layer, get a good soaking. I've got to stay moist. Getting near the top now. What we want to do, we want to pack them down as well as we can. You want to get as many leaves in there as possible. So they'll get filled up again, and then I should do it. Right, that's filled the bin up. He's had a good watering. What we're going to do now, this has gone down as far as I can push it to get any more in. Through trial and error, there's a coal void as my compost and my leaf mould breaks down and drops between the top of the leaf mould and the lid. So what I'll do now is put carpet on and that keeps it nice and warm underneath. My lid goes on <coughs> and then my brick, tell me what's on the bin. All I've got to do now is cover these with carpet. If you remember when I filled the car up with leaves from the park, I had a, a one ton bag in the back of the boot. That was full of leaves plus one bin liner. And that lot goes into this bin. The other bin which I've also done, 
I'm just filling that up now. That's the last of the leaves. I've got to try and run them in there. We're surprised how many leaves they do take. But just wet each one that goes in and run them down. Look after them. If you've got no bins on your allotment or back garden or whatever, you can still make leaf mould. Just get a bin liner, a couple of inches of uh, leaves in. Because every leaf has got to be wet, as I mentioned before. Get a good soak in. Another two inch of leaves, water that until they get half a bag full. Put a couple of holes in the bottom of the bag, squash all the air out and knot it. You can then put that at the back of the garage, back of the shed or somewhere where you've got a bit of space. And after three months, the stuff you get out is beautiful. Right, we're at the top of the plot. All these bags here, obviously under carpet. I've uncovered them. Carpet's on to keep the frost off or whatever, but all these bags are my different ingredients when I do my composting. And one of those ingredients is my leaf mould. Ah, look at this, beautiful. You can either use this as a top dressing, mix it with your own compost, when you're potting on or whatever, or, as I do, one of the ingredients for your compost tea. Beautiful stuff. Right, I've dipped in here, I'm going to show you uh, the composting bins as well. Right, top of the plot, I'll take it down and show you my compost bins and all. Rhubarb covered over, ready for the winter. Sprout still going. I've got one and a half plots, all raised beds. I don't dig, I ain't dug for 28 here. Worms do my digging. Four foot wide, meaning you don't reach, you can reach the middle without walking on it, so there's no compaction, no need to dig. Let worms do the digging. That's why they were invented. Work with nature, not against it. <coughs> right, my bins with the compost. That's the one what I'm using now. Might as well have a nose of him. I use this as a growing medium and also for top dressing my raised beds. Raised beds are top dressed with this, about an inch. Watered, covered with a weed suppressant from Wilco. And then left. And the worms, uh, we'll get that ready for when I need it. This one, 20th of the 10th, so it's just over a month. Carpet on the top again, same as my leaf mould. Beautiful stuff, look at that. Now still see bits in, eggshells and whatever, but as a top dressing, well, even as a grey medium. Beautiful. Loads of worms, eggs in there and babies, which is what I want. Right, that's all my bins carpeted now, ready for nature to take its course. Look after them. Compost bins, then look after the worms. Leaf mould, bacteria and fungi mainly break down that. Just keep it moist, keep it on it. Every two weeks or summers, I'll do a moisture check on the lot. If it's dry, then I'll wait for it. If it's day, I don't.